Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with this bathroom modeling over here. So let's model this uh, commode over here. That's your WC over here. For that, what we'll be doing is like, we'll be uh, taking a box over here. We'll be just pushing this up over here. So let's just resize this stuff over here and if you want to push it up you can just push it up from the ground level a bit you can just push this up over here so convert to editable poly let's go into this and let's put some swift loop over here so let's go into the edges just push this out over here let's go into this let's put one edge over here just scale this a bit inside push it like this over here not much but a bit just push this Now what I can do over here is like I can go into this, go to the top view, take a swift loop over here, scale this in this way. Select this edges over here and let's give a bit of chamfer to it. We can give a bit of chamfer to it if required. So select this down edges also. And let's give a bit of chamfer to it. Not much, very, very less. Click OK, right click, and isolate. So, so now what I can do over here is like I can go again on top of it and just create a box over here in this way. Push this up over here. Go to the top view. Right click convert to editable poly let's go into the swift loop let's just scale this Just keep this in this way. You can just scale it. I'm gonna create some kind of a knob or something over here that can be created. So let's take a, a cylinder over here. Let's create this. So convert to editable poly. Select this. Use a bit of inset. Just extrude it down 
for what here. So again, go into this Swift loop. So go into the polygons and just extrude it down. So we can just push this up, right click and isolate this. Save your file. So now uh, we are going to create this uh, chamber over here for the shower. For that let's go on to the top view over here. Let's take a line over here. Let's take a line. So, so this will totally cover this area in this way. So after doing this, let's go into the certain line, rectangular, enable in viewport and uh, increase its length a bit and increase a bit of its width. So just push this up. So let's convert to editable poly. Let's go into the vertices and just drag this up. So we need to uh, give some space over here because we'll be just shifting this a bit towards the right. Keep saving your files. Select this again, let's go into this and let's just push it a bit, a bit inside. So select this and let's make it sure that it's joined over there. And we have a, a door over here, so we are going to create this. We are going to make a separation over here for the door part so just select this and let's make a handle using a line tool over here so go into this and uh, reduce this stuff and reduce it. So just just push it inside, reduce its length and width. Just drag this over here. So you can just scale this and if you want to mirror it, you can easily mirror it and make a copy of it on the other side that is inside. That's it. So you can just push this inside. So just select this all and give a color to it. That's it. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.